Okay, we got two old guys uh, trying to figure out this new electric foam RC thing. And today we just couldn't resist, uh, had to buy this, uh, Scott here had to buy this Tiger Moth. And uh, you found this where, Scott, at Hobby? This is Hobby King, yeah, 912 millimeter span, Tiger Moth, ARF, uh, just under 100 bucks. Under 100 bucks. And I'm impressed with how big it is. It's a much larger model than I was imagining. Yeah. All foam, electric, uh, complete with functioning flying wires and you got those first off this thing came with no manual right uh, yeah you can get an <laughs> online manual at the hobby king forum i think you do a little searching there uh -huh. but uh the manual is good enough to get you by a uh, couple of caveats that they don't quite go in there but the most important thing they do have is the cg information so hopefully that'll be right on i gave you the number for that and you were able to slap this together in one evening yeah about six hours so really tough trying to troubleshooting to figure eh? out and oops i did it wrong and go back and do it again and, <laughs> and this is an experienced yeah, modeler too man so too, you rookies so, man you yeah, might have your hands full with this be a little tough yeah uh tell us about this paint you were uh, you, is still sticky out of the mold yeah the only on the fuselage, uh, the paint was still sticky. So every time I grabbed it, more than about three seconds, I left a big, fat, dirty thumbprint on it. <laughs> and you couldn't get it off with anything. Oh uh, huh? yeah, alcohol wouldn't <laughs> take it off. Finally, mineral spirits got it, but it started to eat the yellow too. So it's, you know, it looks like a well-worn target moth. I guess. <laughs> How long did it take to ship? Um, it took just under a. Let's see, it came from the Washington the USA warehouse. I ordered it Thursday, and it got here Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, uh, weekend. So you're probably getting about three days in California. Wow. Uh, but the wings, some of the parts came warped. How did you unwarp yeah, the Yeah, the upper foam? wing had a warp down like a gull wing, and the lower left had one, and the rudder as well. So I looked online, they said some about boiling water. That seemed a little bit dangerous to me. Uh -uh. <laughs> so I have a heat gun. I suppose a hair dryer would do the same thing, and you just bend it to the, the set that you want and heat it gently, slowly with the heat gun so you don't uh, cook the foam. Mm -hmm. Too much would, will, will blister it and then uh, you can feel it give a little bit and then you just lay off and let it cool in that position and it takes the set so that worked out good huh all right well uh we're kind of waiting for the wind to die down here a little bit and we're going to try the maiden flight on this tiger moth <laughs> <laughs> so hang on to your shorts folks <laughs> very scale like landing gear yeah, we're yeah. hoping we don't just wipe it out in one good hard landing we'll see how good we are and the weight uh, scott says it feels light i think it feels a little heavy but we're gonna find out real quick oh tell us about this uh tail skid <laughs> Yeah, it's a little toothpick is all it is. I think it's going to be gone in about 30 seconds. It'll it's just grind a little stick of wood. Well, we got lots of more toothpicks yeah. to hold these foams together with. <laughs> Put a tail wheel on there later. Yeah. So what did you have to do with this? Uh, you had to solder on it. Yeah, I had to make an adapter. An adapter to adapt to uh, the batteries because that you I've had? had old batteries on different batteries. Mm -hmm. So just as a test. Of and the recommended batteries on this are 13? 13 to 1500 milliamps. Three, Three cells. cells. Yeah. Three cells. And this is the this is the uh, controller it came with? No, it didn't come with one. This is another old hack thing that I had. Uh, okay, but it bound lighter. up to that just fine. Huh? Yeah, well, it's the same receiver that I had as well. See, huge throws. These are going to be way... You probably need about half that to start with, but no choice. <laughs> you already got them on the uh, outermost link on the controls. Yeah. For the minimum so control. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. That's... And the... That's quiet. Yeah, I'm nice and quiet. A lot of... It's just to avoid the sun. Yeah. It's a little down windy. So it's tail heavy, no? A little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get the big battery in there. It looks nice and scale. Nice and floaty. Yeah. Needs rudder with the yellow aileron. Lot, yeah, lots of adverse yaw, huh? I don't know if it likes that or not. Ooh. Good. Ah, Stumble. What about the takeoff, Scott? The takeoffs are tough because I got so much travel in the look it's way too much travel too in much control. Okay. Uh, it needs to be toned down to about half of what I got. So All right.
Looks good. Ah, terrible. <laughs> oh no, this is my worst one. Nice, see? Stiff, huh? Stiff I gear. Yeah. I don't have enough rudder to keep it from ground. Oh, oh, Perfect, see? So, overall flying impressions? Yeah, real good. Just need to tone the control surface throws down and unwarp my rudder. <laughs> yeah, you got quite a bit of right trim in the yeah, rudder. So, because the vertical. Warped. It's just more funny, so it's compensating for that. But uh, yeah, a little bit of right aileron trim, but it's it's sensitive because I got way too much throw in the controls right now. So, about half of what I got will be real fun. Real good. A little bit maybe tail heavy. Uh, with the 1,000 milliamp, yeah. yeah. 1,500 milliamp pack, it's pretty much spot on. Yeah, good. <sighs> right up! British Air Superiority. Bloody hell! Good save. Blimey! Right! <laughs> 